seasonal businesses are opening up their doors for the summer months. So this morning, Ansley Watson is in Munising checking out the Open Wings Pottery and Gallery. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. That's right. Actually, they are celebrating their 10 year anniversary this year, so they are so excited about that. They're so excited to open their doors finally for the summer months. But later in the hour, we're going to walk around. There's been some changes throughout the years in this gallery, and also we're going to see just how this pottery is made. It's going to be a great morning, guys. Stay with us. Reporting live, Munising, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right. Thank you very much, Ansley. 37 after the hour. For so the past 10 years, Open Wings Pottery and Gallery has been a staple in the Munising community. This morning, Ansley Watson is there to check out what they've got new this year. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. I'm joined by a wonderful couple here, Thomas and Jill Bonet. Good morning. Good morning. So you are the owners of this beautiful gallery here in Munising, Open Wings Pottery and Gallery. Yes. This marks a really important year for you too. It does. Why is that? Well, we're uh, celebrating our 10 years in business already. We opened the doors, oh, it was later in May in 2007. And here we are 10 years later. Now, obviously, you two do pottery. Yes. Uh, you do other work as well, but mainly the pottery is what's shown in here. And this is a lot of your work right beside us here. But I want to talk about your name, too, the Open Wings Pottery. There's kind of a story behind that. Well, yeah, well Open Wings is kind of, you know, we, I was talking a little earlier, we had pages and pages of, of, of you know, of information and, and what our, our name's going to be, and we just couldn't come up with one. Brain, a lot of brain <laughs> And the idea of, of what we were doing in our lives, just setting our wings and soaring, um, that just kind of, it stuck. Uh -huh. And so the wings just stayed with us. I mean, you both do this. You both are artists. You both do amazing do. work here. Talk about whenever you design your work, what is your, I guess, your purpose? Or what, are, what is the design that you want to do? Well, mm -hmm. um. well for, for, for us, it, it's like, my, myself, I think both of us, were hopelessly utilitarian. And so that's function. Everything has to function for us. So, and we both love pottery, not just because we do it, we both love pottery. So if, if it works for us, if it works in the kitchen, if it works in the living room, if it works in the bathroom, that's what we're all about. Mm -hmm. It just, it, it, it hurts us not to make things <laughs> that, are, that are not functional. So and yeah, we're all about, we call it everyday art. Uh -huh. You know, things that you can enjoy every day that you can use. You can make food for people you love in them or enjoy your morning coffee. Yes, like so. Yeah. A lot of things have changed over the years, especially in this room right next door to us as well. You guys have been kind of working hard over this winter actually to get it updated a little bit. What have yes. you done? Uh, well, we, uh, a couple months ago we moved everything out of this room and we had had a bunch of, a lot of driftwood just stored up in the rafters and we took all that down, moved everything out, repainted walls, repainted the floor a new fun color and actually cleaned out <laughs> that back space there which was our old kiln room where we used to fire our pottery and now we've opened it all to retail space. Yes, yeah, so obviously the kiln is no longer there. Correct. You built a new studio at your house we just did. down the road. Yes. Three miles from here on H58. Well, when we come back, we're going to get a sneak peek of what that studio is all about. Get the behind the scenes of how you make your pottery. Great. Sounds good. All yeah. right, stay with us. Reporting live in Munising, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. Thank you very much, Ansley. Sounds like a great place to check out. And Open as we Wings are Pottery and Gallery in Munising is showing us this morning just how the pottery, it's the business showcases is created. Ansley joins us now with more details. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Andrew. We are behind the scenes here, right in the studio. Jill Bonet is joining me. Let's get right into it of how you guys make your pottery for Open Wings Pottery. Well, it all starts with clay. Different pieces that we make, and we just wanted to kind of show you the different stages yeah. of, of the process. So, um, after a piece is formed, and this one was formed on the wheel, it, it's just air dried, and it takes, you know, there, there's uh, variation depending on the humidity and the temperature and all that. Uh, when it's bone dry and all, most of the moisture is out of it. Um, it goes into our kilns mm -hmm. for the bisque firing, and when it comes out, 
Um, this is a bisque fired piece. It's nice and you know sturdy. Um, you can't break it with your hand anymore like you could with the other piece. Um, but it's still porous, which, which is really important because the next uh, thing we do is dip it into glazes mm -hmm. and then we fire it again. Um, and so this is an example of one of our glazes. They're all in these a big, big tub. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, we we dip, we over dip. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, um, you know, we kind of paint things on. But um, these are minerals sus suspended in water, all different combinations to create different colors. Uh, the next, I just wanted to show you this. Um, these are pieces that have been dipped in the glaze, but they have not been through the glaze firing yet. And you said this was like a, a dark brown. This will look really dark yes. with a white. Yep. So uh, after that, they go back in the kiln for a second time um, for the glaze firing, and we glaze to 2,300 degrees. Ooh, toasty. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. For how long? Uh, for about, it usually takes about 10 hours. OK. Um, but then you have to let it cool on its own. Um, that usually takes at least another 12 hours. So, you know, the whole, that whole cycle is usually about 24 hours okay. before we can unload the kilns. Absolutely. Well, Thomas is working hard over here. This is where he makes the, the pottery on the wheel, correct? Correct. Thomas, kind of tell us what you're doing over here. Well, <clears throat> well, the first thing, I, I don't work hard. I play. <laughs> so that, I like is, that. This is our playroom. Uh, at, at this point, I'm, I'm making a pot. I'm making this right here, which is going to be a utensil holder, which we have, Jill has right there. Um, I, I started with a three pound ball of clay, and I've, al I've already centered it, which is kind of the most difficult part because it, it wants to wobble around. But here, what I'm, what I'm going to do now is just open this up. I've got a real thin sponge in my hand, which delivers just the right amount of moisture that I want so it's not too sticky. Oh, wow. I don't know how far down, John, you're, you're getting that right there, but it is just look, it just looks so smooth how you do that. Yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of the fun part of, of what we do. I guess wow. it's, all, it's all fun. You know, we, we both like the, the whole process from start to finish. That's and the magic part. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. So here I'm just going to grab the clay from the bottom and just slowly pull it up to the top. Kind of is that it. fragile what you're dealing with right now? Would that fall over or is it, it kind of sturdy? Yeah, I could smash this down like right now. Well, here, just it's, oh, wow. it's this, yeah. And if I, let me get that wobble back out. There's so many things you can do with. Now you're dipping your hands in water. You I'm need to put my water on this constantly. Yeah, I have, uh, it, we call it slip. It's like a slurry of water and clay. Just kind of the right consistency so that your hands slip. If your hands ever get dry, it's, it turns into a disaster. Your hands will, you know, the clay will stick to your hands and it turns just to uh, yuck in front of you. So now, just to kind of get some of those lines out, I'm gonna, this is called collaring. I'm just gonna kind of make it the diameter that I want, mm -hmm. pull it up slowly, get some more moisture down inside of there. And let's go down one more time. Should be able to this pull, is so finish this up with one. <laughs> I could watch time. this all day long. Well, Thomas, you do great work along with you, Jill, and oh, thank, thank you both you. so much for being with us this morning. Oprah fun. Wings Pottery. You have uh, spring and summer hours going on when people can find you. We do. Um, starting in June, usually the second week of June, we're open every day from 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. A little bit shorter time on on Sundays. Uh, right now, we're not open quite every day, but most days. Okay. Well, thank you both again. This has been oh, a great a great you. morning thank for you. sure. Thank you. This Reporting live in Munising, Ansley Watson, and we'll be back with more of your TV6 Morning News after the break.